from snails that have had everything thrown at them and still survived, to microscopic creatures that can live in space and volcanoes, here are 10 animals that will definitely put up a fight. Number 10. Saltwater Crocodile Crocodiles, as a whole, are a species that most people willingly and happily avoid for all sorts of reasons. Mostly, though, because they have a big mouth with a lot of teeth. First and foremost, since there are a wide variety of crocs in the world today, their sizes and aggressiveness may vary. For example, the smallest crocodiles in the world are the dwarf crocodiles, while the biggest, known to man, is the saltwater crocodile. While the dwarf is about 6 feet in length, the saltwater croc is about 23 feet at max and can weigh over a ton. Keeping on with the saltwater croc, their body is thick, meaning it can be incredibly hard for those hunting these creatures. Though, unless they're eating your kids or animals, I'm not sure why anyone would hunt them. Plus, getting close enough to kill them puts you in danger of getting bit which is a problem because these particular crocs possess the most powerful bite ever measured in a laboratory. The other problem here is weight. Saltwater crocs can weigh over 2,000 pounds at times, and they roll around on land and water in order to shake off threats. In the end, these crocs don't want to be messed with, and you shouldn't try to challenge them because they will give you the fight of a lifetime. Number 9. East African Giant Snails When you think of snails, they're usually small, slimy, and not exactly a threat to humanity. However, when it comes to the East African Giant Snail, that isn't the case at all, and people have come to fear these snails for how unlikable they are. First and foremost, these snails aren't small at all. They can grow up to 8 inches long and a few inches tall depending on their neck. Just as freaky, though, is that this snail type is an invasive species that just won't go away. The people of East Africa found that out the hard way. These snails are so infectious to the landscape that they have tried just about everything to get rid of them, with minimal results. The locals have tried quarantines, pesticides, poisons, introducing other predators, and in one case, using literal flamethrowers to try and get rid of the snails but they kept surviving and kept coming back for more. A rash of these came to the United States as well, and they were so invasive that they were given a top priority in regards to quarantine so that they could try and be stopped before they got too invasive. Snails are taking over the world. Just kidding. These snails are also known for having the ability to carry various human and plant pathogens, as well as potentially deadly nematodes, so, in conclusion, these snails are quick to invade, can bring death by spreading pathogens, and there's no guaranteed way to get rid of them. Can you see why people fear them now? Number 8. Arctic Fox Sometimes, an animal being difficult to get rid of doesn't have to necessarily deal with the physical damage it can take before it passes on, but the conditions it's able to survive in where other creatures would perish rather easily because I'm not talking about actually getting rid of these animals, okay? I just mean that these are the scrappy or hardy ones. Feel me? Anyways, such is the case for the Arctic fox, a type of fox that is able to survive easily in the coldest of temperatures, even when those cold temperatures are 58 degrees below zero. Recall that if a human or a plethora of other creatures were within that temperature, they would die rather quickly from their body losing heat and shutting down. But the Arctic fox's fur is able to keep pushing through and can keep the fox safe in the terrible conditions that the Arctic throws at it. Number seven, water bear. Not to be confused with actual bears, the water bear is a nickname for a microscopic species known as the tardigrade. They were discovered all the way back in 1773, and even the name is a misnomer because tardigrade means slow stepper. But just because it's slow doesn't mean it's not powerful. It can withstand a lot of conditions that you wouldn't expect a microscopic creature like it to survive in. For example, if you tried to freeze them to kill them, it wouldn't work as they can withstand negative 273 degrees Celsius. That's only a few degrees away from absolute zero. They can live on the coldest mountain. What about heat? Nope. 
they can also live in the hottest volcano. The water bears have a special ability that is referred to as freeze dry, where they can enter a certain state of being where they can literally repel radiation of any kind. They're also immune to many manners of acids, solvents, and other things that would be able to get rid of other creatures rather quickly. So are they indestructible? Almost, but not quite. Even Superman has kryptonite. So how do you defeat these little guys? You space them. No, really, it'll work once you give it 10 days. That's how hard it is to kill them. Even space needs time to break them down. These mini space bears are adorable, don't you think? Have you heard of them before? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button too. Number six, tree weta. The tree weta is basically a mix between a cockroach and a cricket, and that fusion has made it one of the hardest bugs to squash. Not unlike certain other animals, they have a special protein in their blood that works as antifreeze so that they themselves cannot fully freeze over and die, even in the harshest of conditions. However, when they do freeze over, parts of them do die, mainly their brain and heart. But when they thaw out, amazingly, they come right back to life as if nothing was wrong. So technically, it's a zombie bug because it'll just come back to life after death. So even if you put it through the ringer, it just won't die. Number five, lungfish. The lungfish has many things that distinguish itself from other creatures of the deep, including that it is a very old fish that apparently traces all the way back to Pangaea through its bloodline. But when it comes to survival, it goes the extra mile that many fish species wouldn't even think of. You see, usually, fish don't try and get onto dry land because they'll die without water to sustain them. But for certain species of lungfish, they don't mind it as much as you think. This is where they get their name, lungfish. They have the ability to secrete a mucous membrane of sorts around their bodies when they're buried deep underground, and this will help them stay alive without any moisture. This alone would be a very interesting thing, but in one specific case, it was put to an unintentional extreme test. You see, one time a lungfish was captured, put into a cylinder full of mud to allow safe and viable transport for the fish, and then taken to a lab. But the cylinder got lost on the way there, and it went for six months without being found by the lab. When they did find it, the mud was 100% hardened, and there was no air for the lungfish to breathe, and obviously no moisture to absorb. Because not unlike a freeze-dried fruit, once they went and put some water in it, the lungfish was alive and kicking as if nothing had happened before. It went for six months without water or air and it was fine. Number four, immortal jellyfish. In the animal kingdom, there is a jellyfish that apparently has immortality. The scientific name for this jellyfish is Turritopsis dorni, and it has a very unique ability that allows it to be immortal. Mainly, it doesn't become mature. Basically, the immortal jellyfish will age until it's an adult, and then it will go and mate with another jellyfish. And after it does so, it'll actually revert back to its younger form or its juvenile form. After it goes back into this state, it'll start aging again until it goes and mates, and then it'll start all over again. Due to this repeating process, they are immortal. To be clear, immortality is defined by not dying due to aging. In the case of this jellyfish, it can still die by being eaten, but not by growing old. In the recorded history of the world, this is the first and currently only creature to have this particular superpower. And many scientists are observing the immortal jellyfish to learn more about this ability and to see if perhaps this jelly could be the secret to anti-aging for humans. Number three, honey badger. Yeah, you might be thinking of the legendary honey badger don't care memes that populated the internet once upon a time. But guess what? That meme was true. The honey badger isn't the biggest, the best, or even the most ferocious animal in the world, but they're known as the most fearless animal in the world. And that has gotten it some attention, which helped prove that the title is worth it. First of all, the honey badger isn't specific about what it eats, 
mainly because if it's smaller than them, they'll go after it and they'll go after it with a passion. But what makes it fearless is that they will also go after any large animal that dares infringe on its territory. Even if it only accidentally steps on its home, it'll lunge after it and attack it with all that it has. It's so reckless with abandon that though it can be killed, most animals wouldn't even dare to try it. No, really, they're known for having only a few predators because they literally don't want to mess with the honey badger. Plus, they have super thick skin, which makes killing it a little harder than you might expect. Number two, African elephant. The African elephant is one of the most powerful creatures on land and on earth. In terms of species, the African elephant is in fact the largest species of elephant in the world. Their bodies are thick with skin, their legs are like tree trunks, and they have massive ears. Specs-wise, they can reach about 13 feet in height and weigh well over 13,000 pounds at times. Just their tusks alone are impressive, for they can grow to be eight feet long and each one of them can be 100 pounds. But don't forget about its trunk, for the trunk has over 100,000 muscles in it and can be used to attack and defend. But of course, when the time comes, the elephant can use its massive body to absolutely wreck people and predators that try to kill it. Their feet alone could kill a person with their weight, and they've even been known to trample people or literally crush them. That's why an elephant stampede is one of the most dangerous things you could ever accidentally get into. For with numerous elephants speeding around with all that weight, few things can survive it. Even guns aren't the most effective against elephants because of their girth. Thus, why there were elephant guns made to specifically take one down, if you hit it in the right spot, that is. But please don't, leave the elephants alone. Number one, hippo. Hippos are one of the most powerful creatures you'll find in Africa, both in the water and on land. And they're not just deadly, they're very hard to kill because of the bulk of their body. The average adult male hippo can weigh over 3,000 pounds, and they can stampede as well, and are known to rush campgrounds on land. They're also stealthy in the water and can knock over boats that get into their territory. The power of the hippo also extends to its mouth, which is able to break boats and even chomp people in half, and that has been proven for the record. Add to that their surprising speed and you can find yourself looking at a creature that can attack you from anywhere and is an absolute terror to try to take down. I suggest not messing with these giant potatoes. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at animals that are known for putting up a fight? Which animal do you personally not want to go up against? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.